Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5Google, Google, and everyone is curious to get a glimpse of what it's like to use the first Android-powered BlackBerry. Thankfully, by downloading BlackBerry's launcher and some other custom software, you can. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to just download BlackBerry's keyboard launcher and other apps from the Play Store. Instead, you'll need to download some APKs from an XDA developers forum. I've put the link to that in the description box. Now, there are risks attached with downloading stuff from non-official sources, so be sure to take that into account before attempting this. We can't take responsibility if you void your warranty or if stuff stops working on your phone. If you do decide to go with it, you'll need to be sure that you've gone into your security settings in Android to allow apps from any source to be installed. Now, it's worth noting I'm using a Nexus 6 running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop to test these. And you might experience entirely different issues to me depending on which phone you use. There are many apps I couldn't get to work like the BlackBerry Hub, Camera and Contacts apps, among others. But I got the most important, the BlackBerry launcher, the keyboard and the calendar installed. Now turning our attention to the keyboard first, this is an Android based version of the keyboard launched in BlackBerry 10 OS a couple of years ago. You can use swipe like gestures to type if you like or type as normal and select predicted words by swiping up on the letter where the predictions pop up. Once you get used to it, it can be really, really quick, but it does take a little time to become familiar with these new ways of typing. But the launcher itself is where it's at. The app drawer splits into three sections. You've got apps, widgets, and shortcuts. Now the launcher also comes with the stock priv wallpapers to choose from, all of which are really sharp and crisp and great for QHD resolution screens. And they're all different shades of blue. Now the shortcuts part of the app drawer is pretty awesome. The shortcuts are basically one by one icons or widgets that you apply to the home screen to give you quick actions. So you can, for instance, instantly compose a message or BBM, or you can check your battery level or set an alarm just by pressing the relevant icon. Now there are dozens of options and they're just the ones that I went with. Another cool priv launcher feature is the pop-up widgets. If an app has widgets available, you can swipe up or down on that app's icon on the home screen and it will show a widget. If there's more than one widget available, you can choose which one you want and from then on it displays that. And the widgets are practically full screen so they look really good and they're easy to bring up and dismiss. And like a lot of other launchers, you can actually use third-party icon packs if you want to. So you can download icons from the Play Store and customize the look of all your app icons. Now to make the experience a little bit more complete, I also downloaded the Calendar APK. And the app itself is pretty clean and minimal, as you'd expect from a BlackBerry app. It uses the accounts you've signed into in the Android settings to populate the entire calendar. As an added bonus, I had to install the BBM app too, and this actually is available from the Play Store for free. Now once all this was set up, I practically had a full Priv software experience on my Android phone. Now it's not complete, but having using it, I really hope BlackBerry makes all of its software available to download officially at some point. I really like what I've used so far. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Ask me any questions you like or just use the comment section down below. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you do like our content. I'll see you again soon.